First up, Sushi Swap. Chef sells all his holdings as the community cries wolf. Now, before we go on, I need to make mention that uh, I believe in DeFi. I believe at some point it will uh, be a huge dent in centralized finance, and I think it's a necessity. Having said that, I believe that these are the early days, and with early things and early adoption, there sometimes are problems. And uh, you can see that with what's going on right here. And this is just par for the course, so let's see what's going on. So scrolling down, it states the hype of DeFi seemed to come crashing down on the 5th of September after the anonymous founder of Sushi Swap sold all of his tokens with many yelling exit scam. And I gotta tell you, in this place, in this sector that we are in, the word scam is thrown around a lot. Is everything a scam? Debatable. But uh, there are some things that um, we can see as definite scams. Uh, BitConnect, that is definitely a scam. OneCoin, that was definitely a scam. Is this a scam? SushiSwap? I'm going to let you be the judge. So here's what's going on. Master Chef had already announced his retirement on 4 September via tweet. He stated, and just so you know, Master Chef is the creator of SushiSwap. So he states, with all the growth of at SushiSwap and the FUD, I'm considering transitioning the admin control of MasterChef and DevShare address to a multi-sig address behind TimeLock. So not a big deal, right? So he wants to transfer it over. We don't see the issue, right? But <clears throat> it gets worse. The chef finally asked community members who believe in the project to stay through the migration and become part of SushiSwap in the long run. However, as the chef sold all of his sushis, the market got alarmed and everyone started calling it a scam. Which, I gotta tell you, when you're the creator and you sell all of your shares, that doesn't instill a lot of confidence. And this is the same type of lesson as in 2017 as we're going to see right now. As a justification, the chef tried to highlight the example of Charlie Lee, the founder of Litecoin, who in 2017 also sold and donated all of his Litecoin in 2017. First of all, I did not believe that he donated all of his Litecoin. I mean, he sold it all, that's for sure. As far as donation, I don't know the percentage, but I know he did. I mean, he says he does, uh, did, so uh, I'm not going to say he did not, but there's, he did actually sell it at the all-time high, which is perfectly timed. So Charlie Lee, hey, he sold it all. But again, that doesn't instill a lot of confidence. And the reason why he said he did it was because he said he didn't want to be behind um, the different uh, ebbs and flows of the project. He said that he had he felt like he had too much power with uh, his different uh, Twitter account, that he, when he would tweet out something, it would either raise the price of Litecoin or drop it down. And he didn't want to be a part of that whole thing. So that's one side, which is admirable, and I can get on that. And then the other flip side of that is people to say, oh, I just want to make a bunch of money. I'm not here to debate that. I'm just saying that when you sell everything, it really doesn't instill confidence in the project. So moving on, it states, however, a part of the community didn't take the, com the comparison seriously. Twitter, Twitter users stated, hey, Satoshi Light was there from 2011 till 2017 doing a proof of work coin. Your claim that this is in any way similar to that what he did is redonkulous. Not that his exit was smooth or something, but at least it was after six years of proof of work. And I don't know how long it took to create Sushi Swap, but I'm guessing it wasn't six years. With the community divided, the anonymous chef continued to state that this was done because they care about the community. At Naomi Chef, or Naomi Chef concluded, all I can say is, if this experimentation goes on to success, you guys know the upside, but if people don't believe in the project, it will fail, and we return everything back to the original creator at Uniswap Protocol. I am happy with either result, but I have to tell you, if you sell all of the Sushi coins, which is what it is all based upon, the governance coin, um, you essentially sold out everything, and I don't think that really, like I said, instills much confidence in the uh, project. Now, I can see both sides of the argument, but to me, I wouldn't touch this project in any way, shape, or form. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I just found this very interesting. And I got to tell you, as we see decentralized finance start to sell off and the cryptocurrency asset market slide, I can only see a worse slide coming up over the next weeks and months. It's all about what you believe. Do you believe that cryptocurrencies and digital assets are going to be here for the long haul? Do you think that they're going to just take off over the next couple of years to five years to 20 years and that they are going to make a huge impact in the global economy and how we interact and do things? Or do you think this is just a flash in the pan and that's going to go away in a year and we're just going to go back to the regular way that things were 
without digital assets. If you think that, then you, maybe this is time to sell for you. I'm not giving you advice, but uh, that might be your option. For me, I believe that the genie's out of the bottle and you can't put it back in. I think cryptocurrency digital assets are gonna be here for a very long time. It's gonna swallow the whole internet. Uh, it's gonna be what they call money over internet protocol or MOIP. And there's gonna be some fantastic changes coming about just like what would happen with the internet. And it's gonna take place over the next, you know, one, three, five, 10, 20 years. And that's why I'm in it for the long haul because I believe that things will change for the better. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.